One of the most common things that we're dealing with the kinetic health are the effects of what we refer to as anterior posture. This is where the person has a tendency to bring their shoulders forward, roll them inwards, and may perhaps jut their head forward. This is commonly caused from doing positions forward, you may be working on the computer, or you may be just working at a desk writing, whatever it is. The problem is when your shoulders are forward like this, you have a tendency to create a huge amount of stress both in the shoulders, the elbow, and the hand. This is what we refer to as anatomically neutral position. When my shoulders are back and down, my fingers are out. If my hand, hands are really relaxed, they'll stay in this position. If I bring my shoulders forward, basically you see my thumbs, they roll in. If I bring my hands up like this, automatically I can feel the tension in my elbows. And if I keep this position for, let's say, about half an hour, I'll start to get changes in my hands, some numbness and tingling. An exercise that we can do to help people get into a neutral position is referred to as activating the scapula. What we'll want to do here is we want to bring the shoulders back and down. And the problem is that most people actually can't do this. They can bring the shoulders back, but they have a hard time actually bringing them down because they're not used to activating some of the 21 muscles that attach to the scapula in the area. So there's a simple way that we can do this. So what I'll have the patient do is first I'll have them find what we refer to as the bottom of the scapula or the inferior angle. So we'll take one hand across to the opposite scapula here, just bring your hands straight across, until I can find the bottom point here. Now, the idea is to learn how to bring your shoulder back without tightening up the latissimus dorsi, the lats, and the upper traps, keeping those fairly relaxed. And then we're going to get you to drop this whole area down just a bit so it glides down a little bit. And then we're going to hold this position for about three to five seconds. And then we're going to release, and let the shoulder go back to its normal position, and then bring it back down again, just so you get used to bringing the shoulder back and down. Another key aspect we have to watch when we're doing this exercise is to make sure that we're not protruding the scapula, making sure the scapula is not sticking out as we're performing the exercise. So again, make sure that you start in a neutral position, you take one hand behind, find the inferior border of the scapula, Drop the shoulder back a little bit, now drop it down, hold for three to five seconds. We're going to repeat this three to five times on each side. As we're going through the exercise, again, make sure the lats are relaxed and the upper trapezius muscle.